Hi, in this video, I am going to teach you how to calculate duct size by using McQuay duct size. Before to go through, we have to understand what we need to calculate duct size. Let's suppose here I have two machines FCU1 and FCU2. It's okay. Now we need this value. This is called CFM cubic feet per minute. We can use CFM to calculate duct size or we can use liter per second to calculate duct size. Let me write down for you. Liter per second. Here we have CFM. So, what is the difference between these two? Between CFM and liter per second. For example, we have 1000 CFM. If we want to calculate in liter per second, so we have to divide divide two point one one. If we divide thousand CFM two point one one, we will get liter per second or if we need if we have value in liter per second and we want to convert into CFM so we have to just multiply okay here you have to divide here you have to multiply okay so for that we have to take calculator for example we have 1000 cfm divide 2.11 equal 473 we can say 474 so what is the value we got 474 this is called CFM so now if we want to convert 1000 liters per second into CFM this value is liter per second if we want to convert 1000 liter per second into CFM, so we have to multiply 2.11. For example, 1000 liter per second, we have to multiply 2.11. What we got? 21. One zero two one one zero. This is CFM we got. If we have thousand liter per second, uh, the CFM will be two one one zero. This is only for understanding purpose. Because always when we have to calculate duct size, we have to use uh, CFM or liter per second. We have to use uh, one value to calculate duct size. Okay. So, let's go through. For example, this machine we have 1000 CFM and this machine we have 500 liter per second. 
okay now let's go to make with duct size okay let me close my desktop i have duct sizes here make with duct sizes Okay. I have this duct size. For example, I have to calculate duct size while using 1000 CFM. So what you have to do, if you see here, it's flow rate means CFM, cubic feet per minute. We have to write our value here, CFM. Head loss, I use always 0 0.05. This is standard as per ASHRAE or as per Dubai UAE requirements. So, I always use 0 0.01. And if I have machine more than 10 ton or 7 ton, so then I can use 0 0.06 or, point or point 0 0.07. So now by default I am going to use 0 0.05. Okay, this oh, you have to use always this value. Now what is this? This is duct size. It means this is the height of the duct. Let me explain you how to find the height of the duct. By default or standard, the duct height is 12 inch. If we have less than 5 ton or 5 ton machine, but in case if we have big machine more than 5 ton, we can increase our duct height. But right now we are using only 1000 CFM. So 1000 CFM mean it's less than 5 ton. You can say 2.5 ton. 1 ton equal to 2.5 TR. Uh, sorry, 1 ton equal to 400 CFM. Okay. So let me write down here the duct height. If we are using CFM, the duct height we have to write in inches always let me write down duct height is 12 inch it means 300 millimeter okay if i use duct height is 12 inch the width i will got 18 inch it means if we convert this in, into millimeter 450 mm okay so let me show you how to draw this one here we got 450 by 350 I'm sorry 300 okay if we have 1000 CFM from where we got this value this is height of the duct and this is width of the duct height always we have to choose and then we will keep the width of the duct okay now just make a line for the mouth connection I always use 0.3 or 0.4 it means uh, 300 millimeter 0.3 means actually this drawing in meters that's why so I am using right now 30 centimeter so 0.3 again uh, I'm sorry 45 the duct size is 45 let me bring back the size we just make a line 0.3 and make height 0.45 just move this line from here to here if you want 
सेंटर कनेक्शन अनदर केस वी कैन मेक माउथ कनेक्शन वन साइडेड आर्स लाइक दैट इफ यू सी हियर दिस इज वन साइडेड माउथ कनेक्शन so here i am going to do two sided mouth connection and this width is 300 from here to here is 300 or 30 cm or 30 uh, 300 mm so this is 45 so this is our duct size while using 1000 cf Okay, now another case we have by 500 liter per second. So here I will write 500 liter per second. In this case, how we can calculate that size? Let's go to make way. Go to units, change here. Metric. Once you click on metric, the units are already changed here, all values. So this is in millimeters. This is in millimeters. Everything in millimeters. So now I will write down here 500 liters per second. So height will stay same 12 inch mean 300 mm. So what is the width I got? 475. Okay. Uh, I don't like to use 475, I can use 450 or 500. I don't want 475, 425, this kind of values. I want always, I always use 500 or 450. I can go 1 inch up or 1, one inch down, 25 mm up, 25 mm down, does not matter. So, uh, here I am going to use uh, 500. 500 by 300 okay so the same process remove it write down here 500 is the width of the duct and this is the height of the duct let me write down here 0 0.3 again 0 0.5 it here like this this is the duct size we got while using 500 liter per second okay friends this is my first video so I need your appreciation, I need your subscription, I need your help to grow my channel. This is my first video. Maybe you guys don't like my audio. So if you don't like my audio, just avoid it and try to learn what I am saying. Still, if someone have any doubt about this one, he can comment me and surely I will guide you in the right direction.